Hello, Libra. Welcome to your monthly message for January 2022. It's been some time since I've done monthly zodiac sign readings for everybody, and I figured, you know what? Let me at least give you a monthly reading for the new year. So, Happy New Year to you, uh, Libra. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. We're going to be looking at the month of January 2022. We're going to be looking at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the month, okay? So let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, beginning, middle, and end of month for you. January 2022. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising signs, monthly message, beginning, middle, and end of month for January 2022. All right, so I have, wow, I have three cards there, okay? Let's see, beginning, middle, end of month, and hold on here. I'm going to look underneath the surface of the deck as well. So let's see, beginning of the month, three of wands. Wow. So I don't know if some of you are traveling or considering traveling with the three of wands. This is about planning ahead, plan, planning into the future. This is oftentimes what I call my future forward card. So some of you are planning or making plans to go away or planning something in the near future, and you're setting your sights on something up ahead. Okay. So, you know, we do that, don't we? For Oftentimes, a lot of us will make New Year's resolutions, making plans for the future at the beginning of the year in regards to our goals and what we would wish to accomplish. So the three wands could easily be that, but it can literally be somebody considering a move in the beginning of the year. So I don't know, Libra, if some of you are looking to move to another place, relocate, change something up, uh, different from where you are now in your present environment the beginning of the month so let's see middle of the month we have the three of swords and you know what i am going to grab another card on that um but let's see what the end of the month is all about you know what real quick considering that the we have two threes 33 master number um i would probably look that up not only that the three of swords oftentimes can speak of a conflict of head and heart so if you're making plans or you're considering something in the near future, but you're conflicted about that mid-month, right? Maybe conflicted about how it's all going to come about, how it's going to materialize, how it's going to become. And the reason why I say that is because we have two threes here. And threes are oftentimes about expansion, growth, and manifestation. We want to create something when we see a three. So this is telling me that you could be conflicted about something that you want to create, something that you want to create in your near future, in your future forward energy of the three you want. And the month, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So, you know, I can look at this too, if I'm going to look at it as a side note in regards to love, you know, you could be feeling conflicted in regards to a relationship. You could feeling be feeling some kind of sorrow conflict over maybe a long distance relationship. And there's something that's shifting and turning and changing in that scenario as well, if it's love related. And that could be a little bit complicated, right? Where the wheel is turning, oftentimes when the wheel is shifting with the wheel of fortune, we don't know which way or what direction it's going to land because things are kind of up in the air. And if there is a relationship that's up in the air or some future plans that are up in the air and it's making you conflict or feel conflicted then the wheel of fortune here as an advice let's say is basically saying you got to let this run its course okay oftentimes you got to surrender to the wheel and surrender to the things that are being thrown our way for a moment and allow spirit to take the wheel because it will alleviate a lot of the conflict of head and heart and the fight that we feel within ourselves with the three of swords okay because your heart says one thing your mind says another and it creates that disparity that oftentimes keeps us in a state of flux and we want to be in balance and in alignment, right? And sometimes we feel we're in a state of flux as things are shifting and the wheel is turning and we have no idea where it's going to land. So I can understand that feeling of flux um, and feeling up and down when you don't know how things are going to turn out, 
right? So January and maybe in a love situation might feel like that or in regards to something that you're planning for in the future might feel like that. But the Wheel of Fortune is saying, let me lead you to your good. Let me lead you to your destiny. Don't fight the current that's being le leading you to your destiny. Let, let's just flow with it, okay? I always say the Wheel of Fortune is a wheel of change and we oftentimes have to surrender to the wheel and the way that it's shifting in our life, okay? So let me hold up hold these up to you so you can see the artwork at least because these are pretty cool all right um let's look underneath the deck first before i grab a card for the three of swords okay underneath the surface is the energy that i am reading here to see what's happening underneath the surface okay so we have the chariot here that's cancer energy um if anybody has cancer somewhere else in their chart libra but the chariot energy speaks of momentum speed movement success movement in another direction um again if you're planning on moving somewhere like i stated before this would be a travel card just like the three of wands is a travel card um you could be conflicted about your travel plans or your travel plans might feel like they're kind of up in the air whether it be moving or relocating somewhere or actually just traveling for recreation january might be a month where some of your travel plans kind of feel like they're up in the air and it's creating a lot of flux and some things have to kind of run their course with the wheel of fortune by the end of the month in order to kind of know where you stand right uh same thing with a relationship something has to run its course spirit is saying allow this thing to run its course and do what it needs to do um surrender in the moment because this is all going to end up leading you to your fortune or maybe a blessing in disguise or something that you weren't expecting but nonetheless it's going to lead you to your lead you to what belongs to you or what is meant for you instead Okay, chariot underneath the surface is about you moving in the right direction, being future focused, being focused on what lies ahead. Chariot energy oftentimes likes to leave things in the dust, okay? And um, it's about wanting to move forward and not allow the things from the past oftentimes um, to, to slow you down. So underneath the surface, you are making gains, you are making progress, you... and. It might not feel like it necessarily all the time with the three of swords here because it's that head and heart resistance that often we experience. It's also, you know, heartbreak and pain and sorrow and loss and feeling sad about things happening in our everyday environment or around us that can kind of put us in this feeling. Um, but the chariot underneath the surface is saying that even though there's things outside of your control, right? Oftentimes with Wheel of Fortune, things are being thrown at you from different directions and happen unexpectedly so even though things are happening in weird ways and it might feel like a very odd time um things are moving things are shifting with the wheel of fortune because it's a card of change and transformation and in a sense a change and a shift right um things are happening underneath the surface things are moving along underneath the surface things are making progress even though you can't see them underneath the surface allow this shift and change to move you in the direction that it needs to um allow yourself to surrender to this and not feel the conflict of head and heart because it makes the shift harder it just complicates it where it doesn't need to be complicated i feel like what i feel like is saying is if there is a difficulty in a relationship I feel like this is going to resolve itself because we do have the chariot underneath the surface and that does talk about success and it does talk about harnessing opposing forces to come together for a mutual goal and outcome. Do you see? So if there is a conflict in January between you and somebody special underneath the surface, this is going to resolve itself and you both are going to be on the same page by the end of the month. You just got to let this like hiccup, it feels like um work itself out like a kink in the chain you got to let the kink in the chain right or the cog in the wheel right itself in january um the trick is right to stay focused on the future that you see for you right if it's love and your person stay focused on the future that you see between you and your person if you want this to work obviously um and allow this scenario to run its course because it will and it will write itself and you guys even though you're maybe at opposing ends right like two horses that are conflicted and not getting along even though you might feel like you're not on the same page you will write yourself and land in the same direction okay with the cherry because underneath the surface 
you are on the right path, you're moving in the right direction, even if for a moment mid-month it feels like you're not, okay? Um, if it's about a goal that you have for something in your future or if you're looking to travel, again, same thing applies. You don't want to add resistance, right, by allowing your head and heart to fight with each other, right? Again, the polarity is also represented in the chariot because we have the two horses in the chariot that oftentimes aren't on the same page but need to. That also represents your heart and your mind. Oftentimes, they're not always on the same page. But you got to stay focused on the goal and not allow your emotions and your mind to run off with you to the point where then you're not staying focused with your eye on the prize. Your eye... Your eye is focused on the prize ahead of you in your future, right? And you are on the road there even though you can't see it. You're making progress on the way there with the chariot underneath the surface. You're headed in the right direction. Spirit wants you to know this, please. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning your fate to get you there. And sometimes it's it's in a, in a way where with the Wheel of Fortune... It kind of is like a, a sharp turn in a direction maybe that you weren't anticipating or expecting. Um, and things do feel up in the air as you're experiencing a, a sharp shift or switch or change in direction. But nonetheless, spirit underneath the surface is guaranteeing you with the cherry that you are still headed in the direction of your success. Even if it feels like, you know, things are kind of crazy up in the air and unresolved. Even if there is a conflict of head and heart within yourself, right? Because maybe you don't see a clear path or vision quite yet. That doesn't mean that spirit still isn't guiding your ship or assisting in directing your ship. Okay? Spirit is like the lighthouse right now. And you are the ship probably on rough waters. Okay? Feeling rough waters. Or here's the ship. On rough waters between your mind and your heart. All right? But it does feel like the Wheel of Fortune, the universe is still leading you to the things on your heart. Okay. There's some time involved and some shifts in time and maybe even a shift in the timeline. Okay. Taking place to direct you there. So let's grab a final oracle here. Again, I'm, I'm just... The advice here is to stay focused with your eye on the prize that you see in your future. That Stay focused on the outcome that you wish to see. Because you are headed in that direction underneath the surface even if it doesn't always feel like it. Okay? Mid-month might feel a little iffy for you. You might feel a little conflicted. Uh, you might be confused about something. You might be uncertain. You might feel like things are up in the air. But allow spirit to guide you. There is a shift and a change in the wind and it's leading you to your heart. It's leading you to the things on your heart. It's leading you to the outcome that you want. Uh, everything's going to come together the way that it should to keep you moving in the right direction. Okay. Three of Wands is about that future forward energy and it's about everything that you've invested in towards something in your future. Um, and it's a matter of time before your ships come in. Right. And you can't let your head play with your heart you know, into the, in a sense where it throws you off your focus, okay? And, the, and throws you off of the path where your prize awaits, okay? So final oracle card for you, Libra, let's see, for January 2022. Passion and pleasure savor your life. Yeah, I'm looking at this like, look at the fire lit here. They're having a good old time. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe while things are up in the air as you're experiencing a shift in the wind, this is advice to go out and have some fun to get your mind and your heart off of it for a little bit. Go out and distract yourself for a little bit. Find joy and pleasure um, in the little things, right? Savor your life. Take time out for yourself. Take time out for self-care. Don't ignore that aspect, right? Go out, have fun, hang out with your friends, dance, you know, have a good time and allow your mind to 
drift off into other things. You know what? This is giving me the vibe of a form of escapism, right? Even if it's just temporary, just do something to distract yourself away from what you feel conflicted about. Give your heart and your mind a break, okay? So I'm not really feeling that, you know, maybe I should. I mean, I'm going to put this over here, but um, I'm not really feeling the need to draw a card on the Three of Swords, okay? Because I... I I feel I intuited it enough from it to gain information, but I am just for clarifying sake, I will grab a card on the Three of Swords here. Why is the Three of Swords here? Whoa, what's that? Hold on. Ah, okay, yeah, th exactly. It's everything I already said, basically, with the Five of Wands, okay. Um... The five of wands is that energy of conflict, conflict inside yourself, conflict with another, chat feeling challenged in the middle of the month, maybe with people, maybe in regards to a job situation, sure, competition, fighting, infighting, um, you know, maybe you're having arguments with people or you're not getting along with people, maybe you don't see eye to eye with them, and that can create that conflict of head and heart with yourself. You know, maybe we fight with our own mind and heart. Um, or we could be fighting or feeling like we're butting heads with other people outside of us in our environment. But again, the feeling is, even if you're not always on the same page, right? Like I said with the chariot, you will find common ground at the end of the month or underneath the surface. You will be on the same path and direction. You will end up finding that common ground, okay? So yeah, it's basically everything I already said. Um, so let's see what angel numbers come up for you, Libra. Um... These angel numbers, if you're not familiar with my channel, I roll the dice to get additional information to confirm some things I've already said in this reading and or provide you with additional messages that maybe you need personally for yourself on your journey. Um, I don't give you a source because I want you to find your own magic. Plus, it could be a source you don't like and at that point could ruin some of the fun. So I always say do your research, find a source you trust, look up the numbers, see what they bring to you um, and take the journey because oftentimes when you go to research the numbers for yourself, you come across other synchronicity, serendipity and nuggets that spirit wants you to find. If I gave you a shortcut, I might rob you of that experience. Don't want that to happen. Uh, likewise, I say to everybody to please refrain from putting the angel number interpretation in the comment section. Again, we don't want to rob anybody of finding their own magic because I know how important that can be. So let's see what numbers come up for you, Libra, for your January 2022 reading. Okay, we have 11, 8, And seven, 1187 is your number, Libra. Go ahead and look up that number. See what it brings to you. If you feel like this reading has helped you, connected for you in some way, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to support this channel. You want to support, support me beyond YouTube, check me out on Etsy. The link to my shop is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have handmade crystal jewelry there, powerful tectite crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass. And I also have um, light language sessions and personal readings there when available as well. So much love to you wherever you are. Take care, Libra. Happy New Year and always keep shining.